finally a welder where I can weld as good as my guys back there. Spot welder makes anybody a great welder, but it also duplicates the way the factory did things, real important when you're doing a restoration. There's a lot more to spot welding than you might think. A spot weld is actually, the ingredients of a spot weld is squeeze pressure, the current, and the duration of, of the weld. We call it the weld time. Such as other welders, like MIG welders, we, we use gas, wires, and so to, to build the weld. With a uh, resistant spa welder, we actually only use electricity. We apply this current through the metals, and because of the resistance of the metal, it uh, heats it up very, very quickly. So therefore, the, we need to have the right amount of current and at a very short time. And also the pressure after the current is, is heating up the panel. It's extremely important too to have a high pressure applied that actually fuses the two metals together. Uh, to applying the current, we use copper cables and we use aluminum and copper tips to, to, uh, to the metal. And uh, that is because they have a very low resistance to electricity. And because of the copper is such a good conductor, it will not stick together. You can't weld the two copper tips together. With the resistance weld that we, we're showing you here, is we, we have a shunt already as existing in the metals. So when we apply current now over a non-conductive area, such as you know, uh, primer or paint or e-coat even, in this case, we're gonna look at actually real plastic, how we can weld through that, but it shunts through the existing weld or a vice grip or any other mechanical uh, connection between the two panels. And that way, we can fuse it right through um, a non-conductive non material. Yeah, since we started, we, we actually started spa welding uh, back in the early, late 80s, early 90s, but we, a lot of things have happened. We use now inverter type technology where we use square waves and, and high frequency welders. But we also have, um, repair data uh, automatically right there on the screen that is upgradable with flashcard technology so um, the technicians out there can actually get the uh, information directly on the screen of that particular vehicle and get the weld data uh, you know and the procedures that the manufacturers recommend for that particular panel or that particular particular repair.